Hello friends, this is Kevin, aka Kman1, coming at you with another episode of Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. In the last episode, we broke Murray out of jail, only to find that he's not able to leave until we make the black water here run pure. And so in this episode, we're going to make some moves to take down the local mob boss Don Octavio. And so I'm first going to be playing as Bentley, because, uh, well, you haven't seen the hazard room yet, but... Bentley is vastly, vastly improved as far as gameplay goes in this game over previous iterations. And by previous iterations, I mean the last one. But you'd think being in a wheelchair would make him a lot harder to play, but it's just he's so much more fun in this one. Hey Sly, you better get over here. My sources tell me that Octavio has hired the Blue Viper Gondola Gang to take out Carmelita. The Blue Vipers? Those guys are nasty. We've got to get to them before they get to her. She's off on her daily patrol. The thugs can't be far behind. On my way. Just make sure to have one of those police boats hot-wired by the time I get there. All right. Let's see. And yes, I did know that you don't actually play as Bentley for this mission, but... Just I, I wanted to play as Bentley because he's so much fun in this game. You drive, he really is. And we're not even to, like, the part where he's super-duper fun. We're just at the part where, like, he's a lot better than in the last game. But it'll get to the point where it's like, he's easily the best character to be playing in the field. But anyways, we are in a minigame sort of level, and um, there are basically two things you need to be worried about. One is you jump in the boat somehow uh, by pressing X, uh, and then the next is you shoot with either square or R1, and uh, you can only fire in short bursts at a time, uh, since your gun will overheat if you do not, but, fortunately, since this is an early mission, the enemies have very little health for you to really be concerned about. And the hazards are very easy to avoid if you are just being generally conscientious about your gameplay. So, definitely an easier mission, but I do enjoy the gondola missions, and I am sad that there aren't too many more in this style. And I say too many more because there are, in fact, more. Um, something that I forgot to mention in the last episode is that um, there is finally a mission replay system in this game, meaning that you are able to play missions that you already have. And this is especially useful for me because I can go back and re-record extra audio stuff, um, but for you, if you just enjoy playing certain missions, then you finally have the option to replay them. And I know technically you could replay levels in the first game, but like the clues weren't still there and stuff like that. So if you're like trying to do stuff like that, but yeah, you can never fully replay missions until this game, and it's finally open to you with cutscenes and everything, and it's so amazing. I hope you realize that you guys don't understand how much this means to me. You really don't. But. Maybe enough so. railing on, well, not railing on that, but enough talking about that for five ever. That and you've got a thing for her. That and was a thing for her. Look, pretty much this mission. It might be so, uh, later. once I regain control of Bentley, and we get the nice little mission complete screen, I'm going to go ahead and cut to the next mission destination that we're going to be taking on. So, see you back in just a moment. Alright, and I accidentally got into a fight with some guards, but I'm just gonna activate the mission to be able to ignore them. Heads up, Sly. I've intercepted a radio message from one of Octavio's men. The Don is moving towards your position. Great. You want me to take him? No. We need evidence that he's behind this city's tar epidemic. With some incriminating photos, we might be able to help the cops prosecute him and put an end to this nonsense. Never thought we'd be helping out the cops. Really? You always seem eager to aid Inspector Fox. Yeah, well, she's different. Your average law enforcer isn't that, I don't know, attractive? Hold up, here he comes. That's despicable. Get a picture before he finishes. This is perfect. All right, and so uh, this is going to be a combination recon photo and tailing mission. Basically, Octavio is going to be running around the city, and we just need to tail him and take photos of him doing villainous things. Um, so yeah, ah, I didn't mean to fall there. 
Um, I actually had some pretty crazy uh, game physics stuff happen in this uh, mission, because this is not actually my first recording of it. My first recording failed because audio was being super weird. Um, and so this is a redo. And, um, which is fine, but I will be going, going ahead and showing some of the weird stuff that happened to me on screen, and I didn't mean to get into the fight, this, 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 blah, 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 blah. and crap, this is, I'm, I'm gonna get caught, yeah. Gonna go ahead and cut to him at the thing. Alright, and we're more or less back to where we were. And there are a handful of flashlight guards about, but hopefully that won't be a huge problem. And something worth noting is that uh, if you are to get caught right about here, then you'll automatically be warped to an awesome vantage point to take the photo, and it looks like that's going to be happening. Or not- <gasps> Did I just- I just super MLG'd that. That was amazing. I didn't even plan that. That was- wow. I'm so good at video games, guys. Guys, I am- I am so good at video games. Did you just see that? Did you just see that? That was so amazing! I'm sorry, I'm nerding out about that because I've never done anything like that before, and I didn't even know such a thing was possible. Um, anyways, uh, something else worth noting is that um, the treasures that were scattered about the world that existed in Sly 2 do not exist, so pickpocketing is going to be pretty much your only source of income for the entire game. Um, so yeah, definitely pickpocket as much as you possibly can because a lot of the power-ups you can buy online are useful. Also, clues do not make a return, so there are not going to be any vaults or anything that you can get free power-ups from, unfortunately. <laughs> clues and vaults are another one of my favorite uh, game mechanics that exists in the Sly Cooper series, uh, and regrettably, they do not appear in this game. So, ah, I did not mean to do that. Uh, yeah, I know, I'm gonna get caught here, like, 100%. Or not? I'll take it, I mean. And okay. Imagine clogging a delightful water wheel with deadly All right. sticky tar. Uh, right now, you're basically just gonna have to wait on the gondolas right here in order to get the new vi What in the world is happening to Sly's leg? What? This game's so stupid sometimes. <laughs> But yeah, I already showed uh, the weird physics engine stuff from before, and something you're going to want to do on this photo is wait until you're past him to snap him. You're going to want to wait and do proper timing, but you're going to want to wait for the gondola to be past him in order to take the photo, because if not, he will just automatically catch you. So, got to be quick on this one. Boom, there it is. And he shouldn't catch me, hopefully. He won't. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. And we are able to tail him just fine and dandy. So, yeah. This mission is honestly one that I get caught a lot when I'm doing it. Um, so don't feel bad if you are constantly getting caught by Octavio. And they will usually respawn you in very, very convenient locations such that you might take the next photo. So yeah, something to keep in mind. Um, and take advantage of. And I'm already at half HP because I'm bad at this game, but it won't be a problem because upcoming missions really aren't going to put me at severe risk of injury. Of course, I do have to be patient right now, which is something I'm very, very bad at, but hopefully it won't be that big of a problem. And so now we need to get onto another gondola in order to get this next photo. So we're just going to wait for this gondola right over hither and do the thingamabob that does the job like bibbity bobbity boo Shout out to Cinderella. And... Basically, what if you haven't been able to glean it so far, uh, basically his plan is to spill tar into local water supplies. I, I don't get the plan. Really? I still don't even knowing how it turns out. But it's like... Okay. And so Octavio is, I believe, going to jump that way. I was right. 
And so we are just going to want to follow him as he walks up to the Ferris wheel. And just gonna tiptoe my way through. And there he's gonna jump into the car. Get that engineer on thing. the horn. I guess, are they called cars? I don't know. Some Ferris wheel expert let me know. Yeah, it's called a car. I was right. <laughs> not even, not even like a little bit of doubt that I was right. And can we make the jump in time? We can, not a problem. Less energy around. This Ferris wheel was a good idea. She's a pump on the tar fast. Nobody, but nobody suspects a thing. But still, is it gonna be enough to get things ready for my opera recital? Well, uh, when the people come to see me sing, I want to make a show they keep a coming. Even if they don't feel like it. One way or the other, there'll be opera fans again. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, see you soon. That's so, He's as but, the uh, hiccups. Uh, hiccups are killing me. Guys, guys, send help. Don't actually send help, because this is happening, like, possibly as much as a week in advance. But yeah, it's time to use the, it's time to destroy the ferris wheel so that Octavio's plan is going to be slowed down, at the very least, hopefully at least, hopefully we'll be able to prevent it, and the plot of this game's game, this game, this game's game, the plot of this game will actually make sense and have a happy ending. That's the dream anyways. And please, I want to get those coins in that health pack. I'm low on HP right now. Please. Just kidding, we can't actually get those, unfortunately. And we are very, very near the mission location for the next one, so I'm not going to bother cutting since it is actually within vision range. And we're draw distance on that boat. But, ah! Why do I keep running into guards in the worst possible scenario? <laughs> Why am I so bad at this game? Voice crack. Um, man, that card's got hops, yo. This opera house is Octavio's base of operations. Nice place. Sure to be a few coins laying around in there. What's the plan? If you could get me inside to one of Octavio's computers, I should be able to hack his firewall and get the dirt on his operation. Okay, have you got a point of entry? I'm guessing the front door's not the safest option. That wooden hatch appears to be an ideal way to slip in undetected. Head down there and we'll meet up in a few minutes. Alright. And so, we are going to be doing as Bentley says and heading down over the- Can I stop getting caught- Can I stop getting caught by everyone and everything? Um, but something I'm going to go ahead and go- Something I'm going to go ahead and point out is that there is 3D functionality in this game. A handful of missions are in 3D. I do not have 3D glasses, and I don't feel like uploading 3D videos to YouTube, so I am not going to be taking advantage of it. So, yeah. Um, whenever there is a possible 3D segment, I am just going to basically be ignoring it and playing it as a 2D segment. So, yeah. If you do have uh, the red cyan uh, glasses and this game, then do it, totally do it. Uh, I'm not a big fan of 3D either way. But if you want to, go for it. I'm not going to stop you. I don't have the ability. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And so now it gets into a point that's going to be a little bit awkward for me because um, with my recording setup, I'm only hearing the audio for the game that's slightly delayed. So timing for this can be a little bit awkward. Um, hopefully it won't be that big of a problem and I got it on the first try. But I'm basically going to have to be relying on looking at Bentley push the button. Um, and there's a lot of stuff that you can break and ransack and get coins, because you gotta get money and get paid, as it were. But, um... Yeah. And did I get it? Alright, I am a legend. And so now, we are down in underwater sewers. Underwater sewers. Underground sewers. So I guess technically a lot of Venice would be underwater, depending on the infrastructure. I don't know. I've never personally been to Venice. It's something, it's a place that I've definitely wanted to go. Um, but when I went to Italy, it unfortunately was not one of the stops on the trip. So I have never been to Venice, but it is a place I would very much like to visit if I am ever traveling in the future. So yeah. 
Anyways, now is going to be a pretty basic sneaking and platforming section. Octavia is talking in the background, but meh, doesn't matter. I'm just going to be talking because s screw Octavia. Anyways, here I had a really weird physics thing happen in my first recording of it, um, because as I've stated, this is my second recording of a lot of these missions because of weird audio bug stuff. Um, yeah, I had some weird physics stuff happen here, so yeah. Pretty cool, but fortunately, something that did not happen right now. And this is all pretty basic platforming stuff, nothing particularly to be concerned about. That fire can hurt you, but only if you are timing your jumps poorly. Um, and now we've just got a little wait for the lasers to move segment, which is fine, as long as my circle button doesn't weird out and force me off the ledge. And you might be able to jump through there if your timing is really good, but I'm personally not going to chance it because I don't believe in my skills that much. And so now we're just going to climb this pipe over to here and jump down on this guard. And I'm pretty sure this guard can sometimes have stuff worth pickpocketing, but they do not at this particular juncture, so I'm just going to kill them and push this Thanks for the button. assist, Sly. Maybe very, I can return very the fate cool. With some well-placed explosives. And I'm really confused as to how Bentley can jump in a wheelchair, but you know, I'm not going to question it. And so Bentley okay, throws down back. the pyrotechnics, and we are able to move on forward. These lasers can be pretty annoying to dodge, um, just because the timing of them can be a little bit weird, but fortunately it's not going to be a problem at this particular juncture, and now we're going to be mm, crawling through this, this air vent. Made of four inch and there's more stuff glass. that you can like break for coins and things like that, but I'm See, going to be pretty much ignoring it. Also, if you stay out over here, then there will be a little conversation with Octavio that I'll probably be using in an end slate at some point, but not something I'm going to be overly concerned with for right now. So, also, if you aim very, very carefully, then you can jump back here and pickpocket this person, but I'm just going to be doing a stealth takedown because they did not have a treasure. Thanks, pal. Judging from you know security, how it is. We must be getting close. And so, Bentley throws it's down yet another bomb, and we just gotta work our way down past more lasers. We don't have a rolling ball move in this game, and there are guards, so we're gonna fight them. Um, I haven't actually had a chance to go over the combat, uh, in this game, um, but something worth noting is that in order to use your spin attack um, and other combat moves that we will get later on in the game, um, there is a charging mechanic now with the triangle button, so you can charge up an attack and then you can reactivate it with another button in order to use different attacks, but I'll be getting into those as we have access to them. And I'm trying to get a health pack, but it seems like they're not showing up, so I'm just gonna have to deal with it. One, two, three. I think I might have been a little bit early on. Oh, no, I got it. The timing for that is pretty forgiving, so it's not something you need to overly worry about. Um, and if I can do it with a weird audio delay, then you can probably do it without a weird audio delay, since you're actually going to be able to time it based yes, on the one, two, three that Bentley says. I can splice into this. And so now Bentley is going to be this hacking, but this isn't going to be a proper hacking That's portion. Important. We're basically just going to be defending him. A few tense moments, that break -in seemed to go also, I really like how the keyboard for the computer the is actually like a piano a keyboard. The details on I think, operation from this old I think that is a good, nice little touch. But yes, guards are going to start attacking, what? and so we're just gonna have to the defend them. Switch. Defend Bentley from Sorry, them. Sly. Guess the dinosaur we're not defending the guards, because that'd just be silly. The guards are the enemies. There are sure to be guards on the way. Anyways, the big thing you're gonna wanna do uh, to make this super easy is just knock them into the fire. The fire will do pretty much all the work for you, and um, it's pretty fail-safe. Uh, some of these guards will, like, jump over your attack if you time it poorly, but fortunately, uh, if you just keep swinging faster and faster, then they'll just get hit by the next one. And Bentley just said we are halfway there, so there aren't overly many, and they don't really start spawning, like, two at a time or anything like that. Um, so that's not something you need to worry about. I'm pretty sure the next one can only spawn if you kill the one. So, yeah. But definitely, you're just good. Can I hit him into the thing? And this guy should be the last one based on what Bentley just said. Alright, no. This guy should be the last. Can, can I aim? Please. 
All right. And down goes that guy, and we are done. Now we can find out exactly what Octavio is up to. So, according to these decrypted files, Octavio is pumping tar from underneath the foundations of buildings so he can sink them into the canals on a whim. He's going to demonstrate this destructive ability to the people of Venice during his opera recital on the first day of Carnival. To counter this threat, we'll first destroy the balloons inside, advertising the recital. If no one shows up, he'll have no reason to sink a building. Next, the blueprints to the main tar vacuum have been cleverly split into three parts and hidden in local coffee houses owned by Octavia. Unfortunately, they're under constant guard, so you'll need to use a disguise to get us inside. Also, some big Vincenetti goons have been called in as insurance for the recital. Given their size, I think it's prudent to fool Carmelita's eight mercenaries into taking them out for us. And finally, we'll have to convince Murray into taking to the field. If he's learned the aboriginal ball form, it'll be just the thing for destroying the local tar reservoirs. I got a sorrow, huh? You stink. Back in my day, thieves knew how not to get a cuffed. Haven't been keeping in time with the orchestra, you know what I mean. I like to see my 